Hey, right, first up, thank you. Thanks for watching, subscribing, commenting, liking, or whatever you do to help the channel out. It's massively appreciated. I had a customer this week ask why I would bother with autopilot. If when you're logging in from the out of box experience as a normal user on a device without autopilot, you get pretty much the same experience. Let's look at what they mean. First, I've got a device here on the left, which is not autopilot joined, autopilot registered. And on the right, I've got a device that is autopilot registered. Let's take a quick look through the process. I'm gonna just sign in right now and go through the, well, the out of box experience on the left and then the, uh, the autopilot join on the right and just see what happened, right? So we type our username and password and we get this prompt for MFA. And now with this user, I don't happen to have MFA set up on Authenticator, so I need to use the, uh, the the text message, but hey, that works, right? So then we wait for the device to take some time to, to set up. And then really for the end user, they'd, they'd certainly not spot the difference, right? The left machine even goes through the same enrollment status page process as the autopilot device. So why bother with autopilot? I've got a ton of videos of what autopilot is, but not many actually cover this question. So now's the time. First, autopilot forces the user down a process and that can mean that you can streamline the process for the end user. In this case, not so much. It didn't really make that much difference, but that is possible to streamline the process for the end user. Secondly, if the user logs in from the out-of-box experience without autopilot, they become local administrator. That might not be ideal for your use case. Finally, I'm not a huge fan of this one, but autopilot can automate a reverse domain join or an offline domain join and essentially join your computer to the on-premises domain. That would be tricky to do in a non-autopilot scenario. It's possible, but you'd have to tell the user how to join the device to the domain and they can only do 10, but you know, it's not worth talking about. So can you do all of this without autopilot? Will it all just work like autopilot? Yeah, kinda.